What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video and this is the first day of eating that I've done in a long time. You guys asked for it and you know, I'm obviously going to deliver. <laughs> Let's crack into it. So before we get into this video, I just want to mention a few things I think is important just, just to outline the day of eating and, and all of the ones to come in the future. The reason I stopped doing day of eating videos is because I honestly just couldn't be bothered with the controversy of nutrition. Like, I'm not here to tell you what you should be eating. That's for you to decide in the same way that if I want to eat something, I'm going to decide what I eat. The reason for the way that I eat in these videos is through number one, years of experimentation, number two, through the education I've had, three, through DNA tests, and four, through continued blood work to confirm what I'm doing works for me. So just for the random comments that are like, go vegan, um, there's a reason I'm not vegan and it's because it doesn't work for me. If that works for you, fantastic keep doing it and lastly just to say that like although i am eating in a particular way during these day of eating videos this does not mean that it's reflective of my belief for everyone else i have found that this works for me as i mentioned but i coach a lot of people for nutrition it doesn't mean that everyone i coach eats in the same way i've got some clients who are on higher carbohydrate diets i've got some clients who are vegan i've got some clients who are low carb who are keto like I generally just speak to the person and I, I always just take the person into account because there's a huge amount of bio-individuality and what works for me won't work for them. So I always work on that individual level and this is why I kind of recommend you do so. So I kind of wanted to get that out there to begin with because nutrition can sometimes just be a bit of a minefield. Cool, so now we're done, I can finally move on to cooking breakfast as it is like freaking half 11 now. For breakfast, I'm basically gonna mix up a bunch of this stuff. I've got half a pack of some organic steak mints, some bacon, some veggies, and then some spices. And we're just gonna throw it all together and it's probably gonna taste pretty good. So there is breakfast. This is kind of like, I'm gonna say a deconstructed chili. It's basically, you've got your mints, you've got your bacon, you've got some like spices like cumin, paprika, oregano, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, cashew nuts in there as well. All just kind of mixed about. And this, for me, it tastes really, really good. And then just avocado on the side, adds like that bit of creaminess, bit more fat in there, and also just ups that vegetable intake a little bit. Although I am like a foodie, I love cooking food. I'm, I tend to keep my meals in the day super simple, so I don't really have to think about them. And then I set aside like an hour to cook in the evening for me and my girlfriend or whatever, and I try to cook something nice in that period of time. So I did actually put this one into my fitness pal, which if you don't know, my fitness pal is like a calorie calculator. I used to count calories every single damn day for like two years ages ago and I don't really anymore. The way I eat now, I kind of can auto-regulate how much I need to eat pretty much. You know, it's interesting for me to count as well. So this meal right here, 66 grams of protein, 22 grams of carbohydrates, I think mostly from the cashew nuts to be honest, and 80 grams of fat. So about a thousand calories, which is usually what I aim for for breakfast because I kind of have breakfast. In between is kind of hit and miss. I might have a snack or something else you'll see later on today. And then I have like a big dinner. So I have big breakfast, big dinner, and then whatever I can eat in between. I really like this gym. It's like got everything you need. If I could just have like just a portion of this gym in my house at home, a good floor, good set of bars, rings, just like everything you need to have. So here we are. I just grabbed a flat white on my way in here. We are in CrossFit pool because it's a freaking awesome place to film. There's nobody here, nobody to walk in front of the camera. They got a very nice little like black wall that makes everything look good. Um, and yeah, they can train topless, which is yeah, 
it's fun. The reason I'm in here is that I'm doing a lot of filming over the next few days because we have a version two of the app coming out. If you don't know, I'm working in association with Tribe. I've got an app which has got basically my Bodyweight Warrior ebook. So free skills, mass gain, beginner, handstand, mobility program, all in an app for free. It works really well. I also helped to design it. So but yeah, it's free to download. I'll put a link in the description. And as I said, version two, massive update, loads of new stuff is coming in early May, I think. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm here filming. Um, I'm gonna do a quick handstand session before, which is now, and then we're gonna get on and film everything. Not a good day today, but kind of just how it is. It's usually a little dodgy after taking two days off, but... So on days like today where I'm doing maybe like two and a half hours of training or just my normal handstand or upper body day, it's a lot of time to train and not eat. So generally between doing my handstand stuff and then doing my strength work, I like to have an intra workout. So something sugary, something with some easily digested protein and ideally some electrolytes. So what I usually go for is coconut water, you know, sugar, and it's got a lot of potassium in, which is great intra workout. And then I pair that with some bulk powders, essential amino acids, and some L-glutamine. And there's also a bit of salt on here. So I usually just throw these together halfway through my session, sip on it, take a break, then I do my strength work. Or in this case today, I'm just filming a bunch of exercises for the app. Hmm. Eventually. So that's a wrap, all the filming is done. I don't actually feel like I've done that much work today, so I'm just gonna finish up now with basically like three or four sets of like almost as many reps as possible on just pull-ups and dips. Thinking like eight to 12-ish, depending on how fatigue is. And then yeah, after that, we kind of call it a day, have some post-workout, head home, more food, day of eating, that sort of stuff. One thing I never really mentioned is like physique updates because it's not something I care too much about. It's more something that becomes like a side effect of training well and eating well. That being said, I do kind of have a slightly mass gain focused and maybe the last two months and then probably the next three to four months, I'm gonna try and put on just, just some more mass. I mean, here is like a little bit of an unrealistic representation because I've just finished a bit of an upper body pump finisher. Basically I've done like, some high rep stuff with low rest, so I'm gonna look bigger than normal. And the lighting in here is pretty generous, but it'd be nice to like kind of put on two to four kilos basically over the next four months or so. And yeah, we'll be going through kind of some tips and tricks for that in this day of eating series. Right, so post-workout, I did try to just hold the camera to do this and my hand was like shaking, I think. Just I need some calories, man. Um, so yeah, we have bulk powders, natural whey protein. There's coconut water in here. Dates, dates are amazing. Very high glycemic, high sugar. Also very calorically dense, so you don't have to have too many of these. And they have a lot of calories in, which is great post-workout. So I'm gonna have a few of them once I wash my hands. And then finally, orange juice, uh, mainly because this was left in the fridge. Um, I love orange juice post workout. I don't know why it just kind of I have a craving for it Usually I'll just string a whole one of these but there's probably like 30 grams of carbs in there So maybe all together post workout 50 ish grams of protein 80 to 100 ish grams of carbs It's, it's about right What is up guys I am now back it's actually about 745 currently so my mic decided to stop working for some reason on that clip. Um, basically what I was about to tell you is we're gonna have dinner and dinner is conveniently already written up in a blog post on my website, which is a Thai inspired uh, poached chicken recipe. So I'll link that in the description down below. It's a really easy recipe. It's about 10 minutes of actual cooking time, just chopping some stuff up and then it cooks much quicker than like a roast chicken. Plus you get this incredible stock 
um, which is super tasty. Plus, you know, there's some health benefits to to stock itself. It contains some higher percentages of amino acids like glycine, contains some minerals, collagen, all of that good stuff. Enjoy the brief montage of, of me cooking it and, and the rest of the vlog. And that was the final meal and we're now here a couple of days later. I couldn't film, it was like nine o'clock at night. I was just chilling, but that meal is one of my all time favorites. But that is kind of it for the day of eating or two days ago's day of eating. I do have the final macros here. It was about 200, 210 grams of protein, 250-ish grams of carbohydrates, and about 150 grams of fat. And that's kind of roughly what I aim for. I don't actually consciously count calories, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting like 200 grams of carbs a day. Although I'm low carb, I've been a lot lower carb in the past and I've found that as long as I keep my protein and my carbohydrates around that 200 to 250 mark, I kind of get the benefits of feeling better on lower carb in the day, but I have enough carbs to support my training and support everything else I'm doing, including trying to gain a little bit of muscle mass. That being said though, if you do have any questions about today's video or about anything to do with day of eating. If you want to suggest some requests in the future, I would love to hear them. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. While you're down there, you can also hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.